Hola. Ay. Ay. Hi, teacher. Ay, ahora sí me escuchan. Yes. Ah, ok. No sé qué pasó. Que les estaba hablando y no me escuchaban. Pero tenía encendido mi micrófono y no me, no me aparecían notificaciones ni nada. Qué raro. Um, hi, escuché. Sí, again. Qué bueno verles otra vez. Veo que ya se están incorporando. Todos de regreso a nuestra clase el día de hoy. Espero que todos estén bien, que hayan tenido un buen día, que no estén tan cansados. Y ay, que estén trabajando en su plataforma. Eh, hasta el momento nadie no ha tenido ningún problema con la plataforma, ¿cierto? ¿Todo bien con la plataforma? No hay preguntas. No. no hay preguntas. Ok, so, um, qué bueno verles por aquí otra vez. Y ya que los tengo por aquí, solo les quiero recordar que estamos trabajando en la sección número 4 de la plataforma de aprendizaje y que esta es la semana número 3, ok, la semana número 3 en la que trabajamos la plataforma en la sección 4, y yo les decía como sugerencia de que eh, traten de adelantar el contenido de la sección número 5, que es la que toca la siguiente semana, pero si pueden ir adelantando el contenido, pues sería mucho mejor, ¿sí? El, como lo necesario, o al menos lo, lo, lo que debería estar completo para el viernes en la medianoche, es la sección número 4, pero siempre pueden tratar de adelantar contenido, ¿ok? Les animo a que traten de adelantar ese contenido. Yo sé que vamos como pasito a pasito con las clases, pero tal vez en la parte de la plataforma es mejor eh, tratar de, 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 de hacerlo quizás un poquito más rápido o de ir adelantando ese contenido para no quedarnos atrás y para que ustedes no se atrasen. Entonces, esto solamente se los recuerdo porque hay que tr ir trabajando. No se les olvide que hay alguien que les está midiendo eh, esto de los eh, de la plataforma. Hay alguien que está viendo como este avance y todo lo demás. Entonces, eh, ustedes tienen que ponerle mente, pon meterle en eso. ¿Ok? Dicho esto, podemos pasar con la primera cosita de nuestra clase hoy. So, um, I need you to remember what we saw yesterday. ¿Qué es lo que vimos ayer? 
cuéntenme qué es lo que recuerdan de la clase de ayer. Yesterday was the class number nine. Ya, yeah, fue la clase número nueve. So, do you remember what we saw? ¿Qué es lo que vimos? ¿Se acuerdan? Do you remember what was the topic? What we were practicing? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo que vimos? ¿Qué practicamos? Si ¿Sí vimos vocabulario, ¿cuál fue? Do you remember? Clothing mm -hmm. vocabulary? Ah, about clothes. Yes. Okay, yes, Reina, about clothes. What do you remember about this vocabulary, Reina? ¿Qué es lo que se acuerda? ¿Alguna palabra que se acuerde? Sock, blouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, Reina, remember... Um, the vocabulary, okay, the vocabulary. So that's true, Reina. We were um, talking about clothes and um, you did a speaking activity, if you remember, about what were you wearing yesterday. ¿Qué es lo que estaban vistiendo ayer? If you remember, algunas de sus compañeras pasaron y me dijeron, teacher, I'm wearing um, a blue jeans and all of these things, right? Y todo, hubo varios que me escribieron como lo que andaban puesto. So that was yesterday's topic, and today we're going to have some activity about that of the clothes before to pass to the other um to the other topic. And for this, I'm going to show you my screen. Les voy a mostrar mi screen. Me avisan cuando lo puedan ver. Okay, can you see it? ¿Se puede ver? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, um, this is a little speaking activity about these descriptions. And if you remember, as Reina says, we were talking about what um, we were wearing yesterday. And today we're going to practice with some uh, images of some famous person. Like, um, there are like some famous person that I chose and we're going to describe what they are wearing, okay? So you can remember this vocabulary, okay? En vez de preguntárselos yo y decirles como, ¿cómo se dice tal cosa? Vamos a describir a estas personas. So, uh, yo elegí a unos cuantos famosos que van a ver aquí, que les traje como sus imágenes, y vamos a ver qué es lo que están vistiendo. So, um, for the first, um, the, the first character is Taylor Swift. So we're going to describe what is Taylor Swift wearing, okay? What is Taylor Swift wearing? So um, who wants to start with this? ¿Quién me quiere decir lo que está vistiendo Taylor Swift? What is Taylor Swift wearing? Uh -huh. Si no hay voluntarios, los voy a escoger yo. So, tell me, who wants to describe what is Taylor Swift wearing? Así como lo hicimos con... Así como lo hicieron ustedes ayer de que describieron ustedes qué es lo que andaban puestos y vamos a describir a estas personitas. Okay, so, the first character is Taylor Swift. Who wants to tell me what is Taylor Swift wearing? No one? Should I pick someone? Escojo yo a alguien? Okay. Veo que no quieren participar. Vamos a ver entonces. Um, Reina, dígame el número del 1 al 7. 7. 4. 
Okay. One, two, three, four. Stephanie Hernandez, you there? Stephanie, you there? Teacher, creo que Claudita hoy está trabajando, entonces no sé si solo iba a estar de oyente. Ah, ok. Ok, no me dijo nada ella, pero gracias por avisarme, Reina. Ok, entonces vamos a escoger otra vez. One, two, three, four. Reina. Ahora le tocó a Reina. Reina, you there? Okay. okay, teacher. Okay. Tell me what is Taylor Swift wearing? At least three things, al menos tres cosas. What is Taylor Swift wearing? Taylor Swift wearing uh, a pant. Is correct? Yes. Okay. A blouse, black blouse. And earrings. Earrings too. Okay. Yes, of course. Okay. Thank you so much, Reina. Okay, look at this. She is wearing this black blouse, a pants, and earrings. You can um even talk about and the microphone or the color of her lipstick or something like that. Okay. Thank Very you cool. so much, Reina. You did it so great. Okay, this is what is Taylor Swift wearing. Okay. We're going to continue with the next character. Ay, perdóneme. Creo que se me congeló la pantalla. Ahí está. Ya lo cambié. Sí. Okay. So, the next character is Lana del Rey. And it's the same dynamic. What is the Lana del Rey wearing? So, um, I'm going to ask for volunteers. But if there is not volunteers, I'm going to choose someone. Okay. So, who wants to tell me what is Lana del Rey wearing? Voluntarios? Is there any volunteer? At least three Me things too. that she's wearing. Mm -hmm. Me too, Jeff. Okay, Hector, go. She, she, she wears. What she wears? Uh, the jeans. And the black cap. Bobby. And the black t-shirt in the, um, the, this is not a sneakers. It's a, uh, I don't know, I forget the name. Yeah, you can say something like sneakers, but I think it's like, I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> but we can say sneakers. <laughs> okay. This okay. Excellent, Hector. Thank you so much for um to be a volunteer and to talk about Lana del Rey. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, this is what she is wearing, right? She is like with the black outfit. She is wearing this this black uh, outfit with the cap, and uh, she went to shopping. If you can see, she is like with a hem uh, a handbag. And this is like American rice or something like that. So it's like a brand and she went to shopping. So yeah, this is what Lana Del Rey is wearing. Amazing, okay? Thank you so much, Hector. Look at this. We already described Taylor Swift and Lana Del Rey. And they are both a singers. One, uh, They are both of my favorite singers. So I really love, uh, I really love them. Okay, the other one is this amazing Selena Gomez. I really love her. It's one of another is another of my favorite singers in the world. And I need another volunteer to help me to read, well, to help me to describe what is Selena Gomez wearing. Okay, Jana Reina ni Hector, alguien más. Who wants to tell me? You can raise your hand if you want to. Andrew, okay, Andrew. 
So you have a uh, big boat, a boat, mm -hmm. and a sunglasses black, and a short color blue. Okay. And your your <laughs> the cabello is the air is color mm, black. <laughs> yeah. I think it's brown, but yeah, it's like okay. yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Andrew. It's cool. You can see. I, I think like she is wearing a really good outfit right here. As you can see, she is wearing these amazing boots. And I really love boots. I, I think I already told you that I really love boots. And um, she has a really amazing, uh, she has a really amazing outfit right here. So uh, she is wearing these boots, sunglasses, a short, for example. And don't forget, no se les olvide que cuando hablamos en inglés de cosa, eh, cuando le atribuimos, le atribuimos a una cosa, un color, una marca, eh, un tipo y todo esto, se dice antes de la cosa. Entonces, por ejemplo, si decimos como que las, los sunglasses son negros, podemos decir black sunglasses. En vez de decir, the sunglasses are color black, que, eh, creo que está bien, porque de hecho está bien, pero suena un poco más traducido como que lo tradujo directo del español. En cambio, puede decir simplemente black sunglasses, black boots, um, gray shirt, blue short, right? Y así, como que lo vamos diciendo con el color, el tipo, la marca, el sabor, o lo que sea que describa la cosa antes de la cosa, ¿ok? Y eso ya hace que tenga un tonito quizás un poquito más nativo que no sea tan traducido. No les digo que decir como the color of the short is blue esté mal, porque no está mal, pero suena más traducido que si, solo, si usted solo dice blue shorts. Y de hecho es incluso más fácil decir solo el color y la cosa, ¿verdad? Blue shorts, black boots, black sunglasses, gray blouse, right? Es como más, incluso más fácil para usted decirlo de esa forma. Okay, thank you so much, Andrew. You did it so great with Selena Gomez. Okay, we already talked about Taylor Swift, Lana Del Rey, and Selena Gomez. So the next one is this Robert Pattinson. This is like a picture of of her character, uh, his character in Twilight, that was Edward Cullen. So I really love this this character. Um, I really love Robert Pattinson and the character of Twilight Sagas that is um, Edward Cullen. So I need you to tell me what is Robert Pattinson wearing? ¿Qué es lo que él está vistiendo? Okay, who wants to tell me this? Volunteers? He is a white gray t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Yes, he's wearing a black and white t-shirt, okay? Yes, this is what he is wearing off, okay? So what else? ¿Qué más está vistiendo? You can talk about the clock or the jeans. Bracelet. Bracelet, excellent, bracelet. I think, I don't know if it's a bracelet or it's a watch. It's watch. It's watch, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, so it's a watch. Y no, no sabía si, no le veo muy bien, pero sí se ve como que tiene algo ahí. So, it's a watch or a bracelet, I don't know. But yes, he is wearing this, okay? A bracelet or a watch, okay? Thank you so much. And the last one, that is Daniel Radcliffe. I don't know if you recognize this, this character, but he is um, he's an actor who made the, the, the paper of... Harry Potter, 
in the Harry Potter saga. So um, I need you to tell me what he is wearing. What is he wearing? Is there any volunteer? Mm -hmm. Volunteers? Come on, there is there is just this character. Ya solo nos falta este. You already told me about Taylor Swift, Lana Del Rey, Selena Gomez, Robert Pattinson, and there is Daniel Radcliffe. Who wants to tell me what is Daniel Radcliffe wearing? Andrew, okay, Andrew. It's a elegant outfit and have a of its color black, of its black, and shoes black, and everybody black. <laughs> Hi, black. We love black. <laughs> okay, we love black. Only black and a little white. Es correcto yeah. para decir como un poco. Like, a little... yeah, a little, it's okay. Yeah. Of course, he is wearing like this tuxedo. Do you know what is a tuxedo? Do you ever heard the word tuxedo? No, do you ever heard the word tuxedo? Nunca habían escuchado esa palabra, tuxedo. A mí no me gusta. <ríe> tiene, no sé qué tiene la palabra que siento que suena bien feo. Pero es tuxedo, that means like, um, like a synonym of sweet, like a really elegant outfit. How can you say it in Spanish? What do you think that is tuxedo in Spanish? Presentable, elegante. Yes, por ahí vamos, justo. Presentable, elegante. ¿Y cómo le decimos a eso en el español? Formal. ¿No? Formal, ok. ¿Y cómo le decimos a eso? ¿Es un? Un traje. Un traje, es un smoking. <ríe> es un smoking. Um, como completo, el, todo el trajecito se les dice smoking, ¿verdad? En el español, que es como todo completo, es de los zapatos, está todo el traje, la corbata, and all of this. So, this is like tuxedo, que se escribe, si no me equivoco, se escribe tuxedo. Ok, si no me equivoco, se escribe así. This is tuxedo or sweet, you, whatever you want to say. It. Sweet es como traje también. Pero también se les dice tuxedo, que es como smoking. Sí, es como smoking, pero en inglés, smoking. So you can say that he is wearing a black tuxedo. A black tuxedo. Como un smoking eh, negro, right? Okay. Amazing, guys. So this is about speaking. Eh, uh, this is about describe the, the celebrities' um, outfits. Describimos the celebrities' outfits like Taylor Swift, like Lana del Rey, like Selena Gomez, Robert Pattinson, and Daniel Radcliffe, okay? So this was a speaking activity. This is a speaking activity para... Uy, sentí olor a palomitas, como que fuera el cine. Qué rico. <laughs> um, ay, perdón, ya me perdí. <laughs> soy, soy tan fácil de distraer, Dios mío. <laughs> Um, as I was saying, this is like a, an speaking activity 
that you can um see how to describe the 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 clothes of some people, right? Que pueden describir como la ropa de las personas. Okay, so I need to know if you have any questions right here. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de esto que acabamos de ver? Sobre lo que veíamos específicamente de la ropa. Hablando específicamente de la ropa. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Good. Okay. So we're going to um have a reading time about some of I really like pop music. This is the conversation, the, the title of the conversation. And we're going to see types of music today. Vamos a ver los tipos de música hoy. So I'm going to show you my screen and tell me when you can see it. I can see. Okay, thank you. So this conversation is I really like pop music. Okay, so this is type of music. Um, for this conversation, I need two volunteers to help me to read. Someone to be Tom and someone to be Liz. Okay, Andrew is going to be Tom. Who wants to be Liz? Reina. Okay, so uh, Andrew's going to be Tom. Reina's going to be Liz. You can start right now, guys. Go. Okay. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like. It's very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who is your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, Andrew and Reina. Okay, look at this. This question. Do you like, uh, what kind of music do you like? ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta? Si se han fijado en todas las clases que hemos tenido en este, en este módulo en específico, hemos visto muchas preguntas que se pueden hacer cuando conocemos personas. El punto de todo esto es que ustedes diversifiquen las preguntas que puedan hacer en el momento de conocer a las personas o que les puedan hacer también. Sí que les pregunten cómo está su día, de qué trabajan, qué hacen para vivir, si les gusta qué tipo de música, ¿verdad? En all of these things. Entonces, vamos a ir como acumulando conocimientos sobre cosas que pueden surgir en una conversación. So, this is about music, okay? This is about music. Today, conversation is about music. So, you can see that there is Tom, who is a really good fan of Eminem. Eminem is a rap singer, es un cantante de rap. And uh, Liz preferred the, uh, the pop music, so she likes the Celine Dion. And uh, for example, um, if you ask to me like, teacher, what kind of music do you like? I always say I am a mix because I am I don't have like an specific kind of music that, that I really loved, but I am a, a mix. Like I love rap, for example, like from Mac Miller or um, pop for Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez or... Um, even I like the, the 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 Disney music. I really love the Disney music also. So as you can see, I love salsa and bachata, and of course because I am a Latin girl, so soy Latina, so I really love bachata and salsa. Um, I don't know. Like I am a mix of so many kinds of music. This is about me. So you're going to learn today about the music. But first of all, tell me. Do you have any questions about the conversation? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre la conversación? What is the meaning of guess? I guess. Es como yo supongo. Okay. I guess. Yeah. 
Ay, que es como el chosu. ¿Al ¿Alguien me dijo algo? Ok, no. So, que es también puede ser como adivinar algo también. Como, es como yo supongo, yo adivino, más o menos. Yo le diría más un supongo, se parece más a un supongo del español. But, like, let me guess, for example, déjame adivinar. Like, um, hey, Reina, what do you think that I prepare for dinner? ¿Qué cree que hice hoy para la cena? And Reina can tell me, oh, let me guess. Déjame adivinar, right? So, it's like, guess. Yeah. But you can say, like, Um, I guess, como yo supongo, yeah, something like that. Is it clear? ¿Sí se entiende? Yes, thank you. A pleasure. Okay. Um, so, do you have an, another question? Ay, qué calor está haciendo. No, teacher. No, no more questions. Okay, so we're going to go to the presentation. Les presento mi PowerPoint. Avísenme cuando lo puedan ver. Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Okay. So this is music genres. Okay, vamos a ver primero. Um, permítanme un momento, permítanme. Ok, ya vine, perdón, perdón. Estaban tocando la puerta de mi casa. No sabía dónde estaba la llave. <laughs> I'm so sorry, ahora sí. Les decía, we're going to do the same thing as always. I'm going to tell you the name and you're going to repeat it, ok? The first is ambient. Repeat ambient. Ambient. Ambient, excellent, ambient. La música ambiente, do you know what is it? Mm. No, like, for example, when you are in a restaurant or in the, lever, uh, the elevator, como en el elevador y se escucha como una música al fondo, como suavecita, a veces un taran, 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 or something like that. This is like ambient, this is like uh, la música ambiente o algo así. Okay, so this is about 
and ambient, okay? The next one, repeat, Baroque or classical? Baroque, classical. Excellent. Baroque or classical, like the classical music, as you already know, the classical music that they use like piano or violin or something like that, okay? The next one, this is the classic rock. Repeat, classic rock. Classic rock. rock. Classic rock. Classic rock, perfect. Classic rock. Okay, this is like the first rock, or el primer, el primer rock, o llamado como el primer rock, que es el, el rock clásico, o es por donde comenzó el, como el género, más o menos, el género de ese tipo de música. So, it, this is like, Classic rock, que son los comienzos del rock. Okay. The next one, repeat after me. Country music. Country, country music. music. Country music. Country music. Perfect. Country music. Uh, Taylor Swift began with the country music. I remember she has like an album name like Taylor Swift. And she beginning with this kind of music, country. And then it became like pop, but at the beginning it was country. So this is like country music, la música country. Okay. The other one, repeat, dubstep. 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 Okay. Okay. Did you ever heard about dubstep? ¿Alguna vez habían escuchado sobre este tipo de música? Yes, teacher, I like it. <laughs> really? What is it? Yeah. Cuéntenos qué es. Um, is uh, is inside of the electronic music. Excellent. Uh -huh. It's yeah. part of electronic music. Ah, yes, yes, it's part of electronic music. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yes, dubstep is part of electronic music, es parte de la música electrónica. Creo que es como una combinación de la música a la que le dicen la música house. I, I like I like this type of music too, like dubstep. Okay, and I didn't know that it was dust dubstep. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, the next one, repeat, heavy metal. Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Okay. Heavy metal. Excellent. Heavy metal. Okay, this es el metal pesado. You can uh, hear it in in some um, bands. Um, I don't remember if like something like Linkin Park is like heavy metal. No me acuerdo si Linkin Park puede entrar en la categoría de heavy metal, but it's like um. Uh, this this kind of, of sounds that are pretty heavy, como este tipo de ruidos que son bastante, bastante fuertes, ¿ok? Por eso se le llama metal pesado, ¿sí? Porque son, no sé, I, no soy tan, tan fan de este género, aunque no puedo decir que no lo escucho, porque les digo que soy una combinación. Personally, I am a mix. I am a mix. ¿Ok? The next one, this is indie rock. Repeat, indie rock. Indie rock. In the others, repeat in the rock. In the rock. In the rock, okay. ¿Qué es el rock indie? El rock indie ya es como los derivados que se van combinando entre el rock con otro tipo de, de géneros, right? Uh, for example, you can hear, I, I don't know if you know about Maneskin. It's an Italian oh, band. Oh, It's like an Italian band. And they play like indie rock because it's not the classical rock, but it's not completely rock. So it's like an indie rock. See, it's como un derivado del rock. Okay, repeat after me, jazz. Yes. Jazz. Jazz, okay? Yeah, yes. You already know what about jazz. For example, if you saw the... um. Ah, la princesa y el sapo de Disney, ellos ahí van a Nueva Orleans y en Nueva Orleans se está cantando el, el como el cocodrilo canta, toca música jazz. So, this is jazz. Okay? The other one, repeat after me, all these. All these. All these. That's like the old music, la música que ya está como muy vieja, los viejos. That's the all these. Okay, repeat after me, polka. Polka. 
Polka. Polka. Excelente. Polka. Polka. Ok, polka. La, el género polka. Ok. And the other one, pop. Repeat, pop. 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 Ok, good. Like Taylor Swift, like Selena Gomez, they are like, um, like a pop singers. Son cantantes de pop. Ok. Uh, repeat after me, punk. Punk. ¿Y los demás? Punk. 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 Ok. I like you, punk, too. It's a pretty good um, music gender. Ok. And the other one, this is rap or hip hop. Repeat, rap or hip hop. Rap. Rap, rap or hip-hop. Hip -hop. Rap or hip-hop. Perfect. Um, you already know what is rap. Like Eminem, like Mac Miller. Yeah, they are like um singers of rap. Okay. The next one, repeat. Reggae. 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 Excellent. Like it's a pretty, it's pretty soft. Okay. Um, that is the rock, the like the essential of the rock. Okay, repeat rock, rock, rock. Excellent rock. Okay, the next one is smooth jazz. Repeat smooth jazz. Smooth, smooth jazz. jazz. Excellent. Que es como el jazz más suavecito. Sí, ya no tan, tan como así como estruendoso, sino que más suavecito y así. This is smooth jazz. And the last one that is techno or trance. Repeat, techno or trance. Techno or trance. Excellent. And it's part of electronic music too. Y es parte de la música electrónica también. Igual que el dubstep. Son como subgéneros del género electrónica. So, la música electrónica es... Electrónica sería electronic music. Repeat after me, electronic music. Electronic music. Electronic music. Excellent. Okay, yes, this is like genres of, um, like music genres. Do you have any questions about this? Pregunta sobre esto en específico. No. Okay. So we're going to see um, some vocabulary about these instruments. Porque no vamos a dejar pasar la oportunidad para ver los instrumentos también, ¿ok? Eso es vocabulario, guys, vocabulario. So repeat after me, accordion. 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 Accordion, excellent. So they use it to talk, uh, to, to play polka music. Polka music, you use the accordion. This is the name in English to say this instrument, accordion. Okay. Teacher. Sorry? Teacher, la polka music is, eh, es como tejano. Mm, sí, creo que sí. Ajá. Sí, sí, es. Ay, es que no sé cómo describir ese tipo de música. Pero sí, google en polka music y creo que es así como tejana, como un poco más de pueblo. Like, polka. No sé. Okay. Yeah. Y es un poquito diferente al country, porque el country sí sé que es bien de, de por ejemplo, de, um, de lugares como en los que creció Taylor Swift, right? O en... Hay varios lugares en Estados Unidos donde tocan country music, que es un poco más al estilo vaqueros, no sé. Con la country music es un como más vaqueros. No sé cuál es su diferencia con el polka. Pero sí sé que son dos géneros distintos. Y en el, porco, en el polka utilizan el accordion. The accordion to play it. Ok. Eh, ah, repeat after me. Drums. 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 Excellent. Drums. The drums. La batería, the drums. Ok. Um, the next one, repeat after me. Harmónica. Harmonica. Harmonica. Excellent, the harmonica. Um, I think you can use the harmonica to play polka too. Harmonica. Okay, repeat after me, bass. 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 
bass, okay? Perfect bass. And it's bajo. Okay, repeat after me. Electric guitar. Electric guitar. La guitarra eléctrica. Perfect. Okay, repeat after me. Keyboard. 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 Okay, the keyboard is like um, el teclado en sí, que no es un piano en sí, pero sí es como parecido. Right? This is the keyboard. Okay, then next one, repeat after me, cello. Cello. Cello, perfect. El violoncello, que es como un violín, pero grandote. This is the cello. Okay, repeat, float. 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 Excellent. Like la flauta dulce. Okay, repeat, piano. 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 That is piano too. Repeat clarinet. 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 Excellent. Clarinet. Okay, clarinet. Repeat after me. Guitar. 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 Like the, the, the simple guitar. Okay, la guitarra clásica se les dice. Like the, the classic guitar. O la guitarra española, como le quieran decir. Um, ah, the next one. This is saxophone. Repeat saxophone. Saxophone. Saxophone, excellent. The saxophone. And also they use it to talk, uh, to play jazz, I think. Okay. Um, repeat trumpet. 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 Excellent. Trumpet. Okay, las trompetas. Repeat after me. Violin. 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 Okay, el violin. Okay, so again, this is accordion, drums, harmonica, bass, electric, guitar, the keyboard, cello, flute, piano, clarinet, guitar, saxophone, trumpet, and violin. Okay, estos son algunos instrumentos, of course, no son todos, pero son algunos de los más como esenciales. Okay, do you have any questions about the music genres of or the instruments? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esto? No. No questions. Okay, so we're going to have our speaking activity. The question for today is, what is your favorite, I, favorite band or singer? And why? ¿Cuál es su banda o su cantante favorito y por qué? No olviden mencionarme qué tipo de música toca esa persona. For example, my favorite um, singer can be Taylor Swift and my favorite band can be 21 Pilots. And Taylor Swift sings pop and 21 Pilots is like an indie rap or like it's a mix of rap and electronic and this kind of music that you don't have like a specific gender. But I did like it because they represent myself. I can I can see myself in their music. Me veo a mí misma en su música. So that's why I love them. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes and we're going to do this, okay? Voy a estar por aquí y en unos minutos arrancamos de nuevo. Así que piensen cuál es su banda o su cantante favorito y por qué les gusta tanto. Okay? Go, guys. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm here again to hear you. Who wants to start with this? ¿Quién quiere iniciar? Mm -hmm. A volunteer? Reina, okay, go Reina. Giancarlo Canela is a pop music singer and the only reason is my favorite singer is because he's very handsome. <laughs> he's pretty handsome. <laughs> okay, so you 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 heard uh, his songs because he is handsome. Yes. <laughs> okay, I don't judge. I don't judge. <laughs> I like it. Um, I I like to heard. And John Miko because she's pretty. <laughs> so I understand. <laughs> I understand. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Reina. Um, okay, is there another one too wants to tell me about your fiber singer band?
Uh -huh. ¿Alguien más que me quiera contar? En mi volunteer. No one. That's it. I need uh, at least one one um, participation. One more. Who wants to tell me? Guys, you there? Should I pick someone to be the the next one? Escojo alguien. I don't like to pick to 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 pick stands. There is no other volunteer. Okay, so um, Reina, tell me a number for one, two, six. Six? Six. Okay, Wilbur, you there? Wilbur Vasquez? Five, six, six. Wilbur Vasquez? You there? He's not in class. Wilbur, you there? Would you want to tell me about your favorite singer? Ah, está escuchando nada más. Ok, thank you, Wilbur. So, we're going to pick... Um, Carlos. Carlos, you there? Ok, Wilbur, está en el trabajo, dice. Ok, thank you for telling me. Ok, Carlos, Carlos Quintanilla. You there? Would you like to tell me about your favorite singer of band? Carlos, can you hear me? Can you feel me? No. Guys, what happened with you? I can't hear you. Cada vez les escucho más deprimidos. What's happening with you? Let me see. Let ask Hector, you there? Hector, can you hear me? I'm tired, dice Andrew. Pero como no, no, no pasa el otro voluntario, no podemos terminar. Yes, Hector, you there? I'm tired too. I understand. And I want to finish it, but uh, I need your participation. At least one more. Aunque sea una más. You can do it. You can do it. Me pareció que Héctor me estaba hablando, pero no sé si yo no lo escuché. Héctor, ajá. Ay. No sé qué pasa, que no le escucho. O sea, le vi el micrófono abierto, pero yo no lo escucho. No sé si le pasó algo. Ok, guys. Uh, we're going to... We're going to try to finish right here, but... Recuerden que la participación es esencial en clase, ¿ok? Ok. De nada me sirve estarles hablando toda la clase si ustedes no participan. Al final, necesito que ustedes sean los que aprendan. Yo ya puedo inglés. Yo necesito que ustedes participen. Créanme que con la plataforma 
no les digo que, no, que no, no van a desarrollar el inglés porque escribirlo es esencial y leerlo también, pero hablarlo es lo más importante. Si no van a ser de esas personas que dicen, sí, yo lo entiendo, pero no lo hablo. No lo habla porque no lo practica. No lo practica porque no... no, no, no. no. So, we're going to finish right here and we're going to continue tomorrow, pero quiero que se oh, que levante, es ¿ok? Que... Si no, ¿de qué me sirve hacer las speaking activities? Si ustedes no me hablan, si ustedes no se ponen a participar, remember, eso era parte de nuestras, de nuestras eh, normas de convivencia. Recuerdo que lo vimos, normas de convivencia. Era participar en clase, ¿ok? Y casi siempre solo escuchan las mismas personitas. So you can do it. Practice yourself in your home. And I'm going to see you tomorrow in class, ¿ok? Bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, Reina. Bye, see you. Bye. Bye.